In this lesson, we are going to be introducing scale diagrams and similar objects. Uh, the definition, first of all, of a stale, scale diagram is a drawing that is either larger or smaller than the original measurements or actual measurements of an object, but still proportional to the original. Uh, the actual way to calculate a scale factor, so the scale factor used to go from the actual shape to the uh, new shape or the diagram shape would be the following. Uh, it would be that's a fraction <clears throat> of the diagram measurement over the actual measurement. Uh, so as an example, uh, if the diagram is smaller than the actual, what we'd have here would be a diagram number that's smaller than the actual number, which would be a proper fraction. Or in other words, uh, if you have a scale factor that is less than 1, then what mean, that means is that the diagram is smaller than the actual. So you'll see those type of... Uh, scale factors on things like scale drawings of houses or scale drawings of buildings or maps and that type of thing. So that would be a scale factor that's less than one. Uh, if you had a scale factor that was greater than one, that would mean that the diagram is larger uh, than the original or than the actual. So uh, if you want to make something larger, you'd see that in, like in science where you're using a microscope or something to make a cell larger or a variety of things to make them larger. Uh, you'll see scale diagrams of that. So we're going to do one example at this particular moment using scale diagrams and scale drawings. Uh, example number one, a builder plans to construct a house on a rectangular lot as shown in the sketch. So th these are the actual measurements. Uh, the lot is 15 meters wide by 40 meters long, and the house is going to be 12 meters long by 9 meters wide. And you'll see the spaces here between the lot lines. Uh, what it says here is draw a scale diagram of the lot using a scale of 1 to 500. So what that means is that the actual, or sorry, the diagram over the actual, has a scale of 1 to 500. Uh, so in other words, words, what I would do in this particular case is make this a decimal number, probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, if we just do 1 divided by 500, we know that the diagram that we're going to draw is 0 0.002 as big as the actual. So uh, if we, that's your scale factor. So in this particular case, what we could do is multiply all of these distances. If we times them by 0 0.002, uh, you'll get the diagram size that we like to do. So 2 meters times 0 0.002 uh, is 0 0.004 meters. And the last thing we need to do is probably convert this into centimeters. And since there are uh, 100 centimeters in a meter, so if we multiply that by 100, we will get that the diagram, that space there from the back lot line to the house, is going to be 0 0.4 centimeters in the diagram. Uh, and we can just continue to do that for all of these particular parts here. So uh, 12 times the scale factor, 0 0.002. And then if we times that by 100, it will make it into centimeters. So that would be uh, 2.4 centimeters. Uh, this one you would have as 1.8 centimeters. Uh, 4.5 would be 0 0.9 centimeters. And 40 meters uh, would become, I believe, 8 centimeters. And 15 meters Would become three centimeters. Okay, so those are all the distances uh, that we are going to draw in this particular diagram. Uh, so here, to make that scale drawing of the actual house into a scale uh, scale factor of one to five hundred, we're just going to use all those measurements. So we know the edge of the lot line is three centimeters. So on uh, my particular study guide, each of these squares is one centimeter. So here's three centimeters, 
and it's by 8 centimeters. So the lot would look on the diagram like this. That's 3 centimeters by 8 centimeters. <clears throat> Uh, next, the house is going to be 0 0.9 centimeters uh, away from this lot line, so that's almost one centimeter, so 0 0.9 centimeters. And as I'm doing this, I'm using a ruler to measure these distances. Uh, this here would be 0 0.4 centimeters, so roughly this distance here, that's 0 0.4 centimeters. And the house is going to be 2.4 centimeters. So 2.4 centimeters is roughly... that much there and 1.8 centimeters is going to be uh, this much right here okay so this is the house <clears throat> and the diagram measurements in this particular case are 1.8 centimeters by 2.4 centimeters Okay, so that is how we can use a scale factor in order to draw a scale diagram of when the diagram is smaller than the actual measurements.